Welcome back to my channel, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl Grabowski and today we have fried croaker. There are two huge smothered pork chops. Y'all see that right there? It's right there. And then we have uh, rice and gravy. And then we have turnip greens and candy yams. My, my mouth is watering, y'all, because I'm hungry. Um, hush puppies and um, okra, fried okra. Hold on, I'm going to pray over the food. Okay. How y'all doing today? Y'all, I am so hungry right now. Yes, I am. Over here on the, on the side, I have the crystal hot sauce, white vinegar, and then I have a sparkly drink. What is the flavor? Orange mango. All right, y'all, I am so hungry. Let me get into this fish right quick. Y'all been over here before, you see me eat croaker, which is my favorite fish. Let me put me some white vinegar on it. Mm -hmm. Guys, I love vinegar. So it's been a long day. Oh, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all see that? I'm so hungry. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. I hadn't had white rice in a long time, y'all, and it's one of my favorite things to eat. Mm. 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 Get some more. And there are two pork chops on this plate, guys. This one underneath there, too. <laughs> I hope y'all have had a wonderful day. It is Saturday, approximately 7.30. And the sun is setting now. Mm -hmm. And the temperature was pretty good. I think it was around 61. So, it was a good day today. So tomorrow, guys, is Easter. <clears throat> this fish is so good. So I went over to Jack Seafood, guys, on Rock Quarry Road, where I went to see Chelsea. She works there. Shout out to you, Chelsea, honey. You know, this fish is always the bomb. Well, everything from Jack's is great. I love it. Thank you, Chelsea. You always hook me up, girl. Mmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's good. Oh, Lord, y'all, excuse me. Everything is so good, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Let me try this pork chop, see what we got going on. Y'all, it's smothered, so it's messy. This pork chop is banging, or as the young people say, bussing. <laughs> mm. Y'all want another bite? Y'all, my rice is gone. I should have got a big order of rice. Mm. I forgot to do my thumbnail.
I didn't offer y'all a piece of this fish. <laughs> it's so good, y'all. Everything is really, really delicious. So, y'all, did y'all hear about DMX? Shout out to all the people who are suffering with um, drug addiction. Because y'all, any type of habit or addiction is hard to break. And the article that I read today They were saying that in 2020, I think he completed, DMX completed um, a rehab program that he signed himself into. So y'all, anybody going to rehab, I think that was after he did a prison sentence he too. He did 12 months in prison for um, tax fraud or he owed taxes. Um, after he got out, at some point he went to rehab. So the very fact that he went to rehab speaks to him trying, you know, trying to kick the habit. And my heart goes out to him and his family. Because obviously it's been a long journey for him, y'all. And for the people that love him, his family and his fans. It's sad. So they say he's in ICU. Fighting for his life. Because they believe that. The drugs that he did caused him to have a heart attack. So he's on life support. And the article said that he had, he's in grave condition because, y'all, I'm always dropping food. He's in grave condition because he has um, little to no brain activity going on. But we know that sometimes the doctors have not taken into account, you know, the strength of the person. Because let me tell y'all, my mama been on life support, I believe, three times. Mm -hmm. And she's still here. Simply amazing with no brain damage. And one of those times she coded like her heart stopped. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So we're going to hope for the best for DMX. I'll tell you what. It's a sad situation because, in my opinion, his addiction has very little to do with the drugs. Is more of some type of emotional pain. Something that he's been through. Something traumatic. Uh, uh, Excuse me, y'all. Uh, mm. oh, whoa, that's good. All right, y'all, I'm going to get into this other fish. Uh, and I told y'all I love vinegar, so y'all don't say nothing about me putting this white vinegar on my face, okay? <laughs> but yeah, bless his whole heart.
bless his whole heart. I think DMX got to be close to my age. Maybe a little bit older. I'm so, I'm 50, so I'm not sure. Excuse me. And I believe I read somewhere that him and his wife were broke up. Divorced, so I'm not sure about that. But I remember when he was on Ayana Fix Your Life. Um, I remember thinking to myself that he was very resistant to the program that he was in. Of course, he knew he should have known that he was there to get help. Um, to figure out what was really bothering him in his childhood. Because y'all, anytime you're dealing with therapy and, you know, drug addiction and, and trying to get clean and trying to get your mind clear and trying to get to the source of what's really bothering you, y'all, it's got a lot to do with your childhood, right? So she was, Ayanla was doing what she does and I remember looking at it and he was really, really resistant to it. Um, if I could remember correctly, I think he left. Y'all, it's tough doing the work. Doing the work on yourself. It's tough. Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking when I was watching him on the show, What in the world did he go there for? Because he was he was fighting her so much. And of course, she's aggressive. I mean, anybody watched the show knows that. So he should have known that before he went. Uh, Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Uh, mm. Yeah, he should have known that before he went. And, um... If I remember correctly, I remember, seemed like she was kind of scared of him at one point. Mm -hmm. mm. So if there's a young person looking at this video, teenager... Don't mess with the drugs. Don't. And you know what, y'all? It's okay to ask for help in this world. It is. But don't go to drugs. Please don't. I feel like African-American people, for the most part, we've been surviving, you know, and I don't think we really realize the impact of not getting proper Mental health. Mm -hmm. 
20 minutes and 43 seconds. So yeah, we don't even realize y'all the impact of how important it is to get proper mental health. Because even guys, being depressed is something that humans go through, guys. But if you suffer, if you're suffering with depression and you can't um, regulate your mood and you're full of anxiety and just sad, y'all seek some, seek out help. And don't feel no type of ways about it. Don't feel ashamed or any of that. Y'all. Yeah. Because people, humans, other humans have taken the time to study human behavior, guys. And these people are experts. You know, you find the right type uh, therapist or counselor or coach, you know, anywhere in that area to talk some things out. And sometimes... Um, they offer a system called EFT, which is sort of like, <clears throat> sort of like a, a system of, sort of like hypnosis and the, the function or the, um, the purpose of the EFT is to show you what to do with your emotions. Y'all, I'm telling you, I talked to a lady, a young lady today, and she was like, she said, she said, Cheryl, I don't want to feel my feelings. She said, it's way too much. I don't want to feel my feelings. I can't. She said, I've just shelved it and I'm not going to deal with it. But y'all, that's the worst thing that we can do. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm burping so bad today. I'm so sorry, y'all. What's the worst thing that we can do, y'all? Is not want to feel our feelings. You got to. Anyway, I am getting ready to end this video. I appreciate you guys for coming over to my channel today. Don't forget to leave a comment, to like, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And I'll be back with another video really soon. I'm going to finish this fish, honey. So good. Well, y'all, that's it. <laughs> I can't eat anymore. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Kisses and hugs. See y'all the next time. Bye.